New Mexico cannabis manufacturer files lawsuit against cannabis control division. Um, this is uh, from KOB4, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Today marks two years of legal recreational use sales in New Mexico. Instead of celebration, the Cannabis Control Division is now facing a new lawsuit. A local cannabis manufacturer is suing the state agency over a recent recall of some of its products. The manufacturer's attorney is calling the recent recall unlawful. He says the state didn't follow its own rules when issuing uh, the recall a little more than two weeks ago. The products that are being recalled were manufactured by my clients in the fall of 2022. At that time, these products passed every single applicable pesticide and other tests mandated by the state of New Mexico. <clears throat> Fast forward a year later, a third party cannabis retailer submitted one of the products to a testing laboratory for a voluntary quote unquote shelf life test. That test identified the presence of a pesticide called malathion, said Jacob uh, Candelaria, attorney for Farmers LLC. Malathion is not listed as one of the state's prohibited pesticides. At no time since 2022 and even sitting here today has the Cannabis Control Division issued a rule or regulation that's been subject to notice, uh, to notice and comment about adding malathion onto the list of pesticides that must be tested for. So that's issue number one, Calend uh, Candelaria said. But malathion isn't on the state's approved pesticide list either. The state's rules around cannabis testing allow labs to test for other pesticides and report those findings to the Cannabis Control Division. But Candelaria argues the state isn't allowed to issue recalls based on those voluntary tests. My clients were not afforded the sort of due process protections or anti-contamination procedures in these voluntary tests that were conducted in March of 2024, said Candelaria. The lawsuit is now asking a judge to stop the recall and for the CCD to publish a retraction. KOB4 also reached out to the CCD. A rep said they couldn't comment on ongoing litigations. However, they did send a statement saying, one of the division's top priorities is protecting public health and safety and the March and the March 22nd, 2024 notice was issued to notify the public about cannabis products that contain potentially harmful contaminants. We asked Candelaria if he believes the issues surrounding the recall are due to the CCD being a relatively new entity in our state. He said that's not an excuse. The state agency should follow its own rules. And that's my story today coming from KOB4 in New Mexico. This is Saman Razani reporting for High at 9 News. What do you guys have to say about this? Todd, what do you have to say about this? Uh, you know, uh, when it those those secret shopper testing really tests labs where mm -hmm. the product is being tested originally, get them on the shelf, right? So the truth is, I don't even mind it because, you know, when you're doing everything right and uh, you don't mind if people are watching what you're doing, right? Um, I but think it's think all... Do you think it's legit that uh, they're issuing the recall based on the voluntary test? I mean, it's not on their it's not on their list of uh, pesticides that they're testing for, so there is no you know limits um, you know against usage, right? So right, they, but there's some there, there's some you know if it's not on the list, then it's not allowed, even though it allows you to have certain levels, right? So if we find something that's not on the list, right, we have to report that and uh, say, look, we found this mm -hmm. you know whatever it is right? um okay. no but but like i said the secret shopping you know is uh, is good i think it's good for the industry honestly i wish they did more of it yeah, um i agree i think it's nice to uh, keep everybody in this. well hold on but doesn't this i mean i i i i think i think that this um because a lot of these products you know cannabis is is not as stable as like most shelf made products and so they could have easily purchased something that had been sitting on the shelf for a longer period of time and started to degrade and that's the reason that they got these types of test results back that's even less of a chance for the pesticide to show up okay you know the longer it's on the shelf okay yeah. uh, um, you know so it I'll does say, dissipate you know? yeah i'll say that um you know these organophosphates that you know are pretty pretty heavily used in in everything in our food production in this country sure, right? sure. did you say Olathean, organic phosphate organophosphate is that like category. is that like that's organic phospholoid 
that's what category Malathion is in. It's a different than a pyrethro, uh, pyrethrin, right? Like, you know, some of the other um, stuff are based in different, you know, compounds. So it's like this this organophosphate group is like all these insecticides, things like bifenzate, things like that, like a fluoromite. Um, it's used as, you know, a insecticide. So it's like keeping mites, keeping bugs that eat the fruit and vegetables off of them. They're spraying that on 90% of the food. Right, so we get the food. You got to wash your food. That's why it's because. Yeah, but the you, argument is nobody's smoking food. You know, that's know, that's their argument. I, I'm just saying. I, I, I tried. Mean, I, I tried you. long and avocado. You smoke or you're smoking your food. food. I've smoked out of an apple many a time, for sure. All right, but, but you're not you're not crushing up an apple, putting it in a bowl, and smoking the apple going. No, but I'm, but what I'm if you have a smoker that. in your backyard, Todd? What I'm saying is that. Big, what if you have a smoker in your backyard? Yeah, but you're still not smoking it. You're eating it. So no. iron, so iron lion. I think it's called malathion, not mal. So just uh, hey, thanks for the thanks for the you know pronunciation. Yeah, 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 yeah. And 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 I, I think for that word, it doesn't matter which side of the tracks you grew up on. But I think the crux of this article really boils down to one thing, mm -hmm. which is if something is used on cannabis. And it is not on the approved list, but it is also not disapproved or unapproved. Where does that put the industry and where does it put operators? And what is their responsibility if it's not on the approved list, but it's not banned? And what is their what is the risk that they're choosing to voluntarily take on by using a product that's not on the approved list? And so I, I hear what their attorney's argument is like, hey. This, this test was not part of the testing that got this into the regulated supply chain where it was approved. And this particular uh, in insecticide is not on the banned list. Mm -hmm. I, I totally yep. get that. The other, the other counter argument is if you use something that wasn't on the approved list, you took a risk, you knowingly took a risk, and you didn't know what the outcome of taking that risk was going to be. But you did take a risk by using something that wasn't on the approved list. Here's the problem, Yarrow, is that that guy that this happened to is just a manufacturer. He doesn't grow. So he goes to the cultivators and, he's, and he sources his biomass or whatever for his product. Mm -hmm. So ah. that's, that's the real issue is that it's, a, it's just a downstream consequence of our supply chain. Now, mm -hmm. the problem starts in the cultivation for all of those issues, right? For any pesticide use, any insecticide use. So it's like that is, you know, that has to become standardized as well, right? And they're trying to do that, but there's so many products, as we know, um, agriculturally used for all these things. People use what's readily available. And my point of saying that it's an organophosphate that's used in agriculture is that it's ubiquitous. It's common. It's totally common. Look, the the Iron happens. Lion of Malathion. <laughs> Come again, yeah, rewind yeah, selector. Oh, tomato, tomato, tomato. You know what I this, mean? This, but, this no. happened in Vegas. But you're right. Uh, it's super common. It's, it's... Yeah, this whole thing happened in Vegas back in April of last year, where this uh, pesticide uh, that they found from testing it from a dispensary, uh, Ethophon, um, it's not even on the list, and uh, and nobody's really using it except this one particular person, right? Mm -hmm. And it turns out it was a um, uh, disgruntled employee that called the CCB <laughs> and said, "Hey, man, these guys are using ethophon, mm -hmm. um, and we still don't have to test for it. We st it's still not on the list. It hasn't been added, but all their shit was uh, taken off shelves." <laughs> 